Hey, what's going on, guys? So, in this video, we're on a ranked game on my main. Uh, so, we are somewhere like low diamond, high emerald. I feel a little bit of a trade. Low diamond, high emerald, unfortunately. Uh, we're up against Tom Kench. So, Tom Kench can be one of those. One. Keep going. We got lethal tempo. We can win this. We can win this. If he doesn't flash, we get it. Okay. All right. Anyways, <laughs> this is this is like not low elo. But um, yeah, so we're going uh, lethal tempo, presence of mind, tenacity, last stand, and then we're going revitalize, second wind, attack speed, damage, and tenacity, slow resist. Tom Kench is, I mean, not really a difficult matchup. He's really easy in the early games. If he gets a Brambles and Sunfire, then this could be tricky. I'm just gonna try to crash up this wave. Cause we got a good buy. 700 gold is a good buy in Warwick because we can just get a recurve bow and then that gives us a ton of damage for like an early spike. 15% attack speed and 15 damage on hit is definitely really, really good for only 700 gold and it goes towards a lot of items that we're going to be building. Um, yeah, could we have gotten a double long sword? Yes, we easily could have and that would have went towards... Um, he's low. Tom Kench can't push up the wave. Okay, nice. J4 is going to get get this, right? Okay, good. Uh, they're low, so I can roam. Bottom Scuttle isn't up yet. Hopefully he didn't die. Is he dead? Okay, nice. That would, that would have been unfortunate if that turret stayed on him there. We can actually maybe... Okay, good. Evelyn's here. I was going to say, I was gonna say we can actually maybe hover this in, because we see that Scuttle's still up. She doesn't have flash now, so she should be dead. Yeah, nice, she's dead. And then we just TP back up here. Very nice. Okay, so we are at a pretty good spot here. We're at a pretty good spot here. Since we got doubles, let's just go for a trade. I just realized. Nah, oh, okay. Nothing else is going to happen after this. Yeah, it is what it is. All right, well, we're in a good spot. I'm just still here and keep farming it up. Play it slow. I'm thinking we're going to max W this game. Um, as soon as Kaylin died. Hold on. Eve after the stun. Nice. Good stuff. Yeah, we got doubles. We got lethal tempo. There's nothing that he could do at that point. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to max W this game. Because Tom Kench has very, very... Like, like he, he fights for a very long time. Uh, and more importantly, I just want to roam. Uh, like, I'm thinking I'm going to be roaming. Because Caitlyn was tilted, so I want to roam and see if I can get her ahead. But we're just going to crash with this wave and maybe look to buy Team Matt. I probably won't have enough for Team Matt. But actually, do I even want to buy Team Matt? I don't think I'm going to buy Team Matt because I, I don't want to push the waves. Like, like, I have a very big lead, and if I push the waves, I have very little. That really took two tower shots from that. I got to E. Um, if I push the waves that I have very little room to actually fight the Tom Kench. Um, we have 1400. We're just going to back. I think we're going to pick up. Um, we're going stride breaker. So I'm going to go phage. Yeah. Phage is 1100. Yeah. Phage and boots is definitely a really good buy here. So now we have a great buy because we can still push waves. And obviously we don't push waves in very fast being Warwick without Tiamat, but because we have some nice AD and quick attack speed because of recurve bow and the on hit from recurve bow and the AD from Phage and Dorn's blade. Ooh, yo, we can actually do something here. Sniffing, get the fear off. Don't need to ult, right? Okay, good. We'll take that. Bro, I'm all over the map, yo. Hey, and they're zooming. I'm sniffing down here. They're one HP. I no 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 no. Hey, cue the bubble. I wanted to hit the uh, the uh, Nami with my. I wanted to hit the Nami with my thing. Nice, bro. Hoy's covering my top. I wanted to hit the Nami with my um. Alt, but it's unfortunate there. We're just gonna help out with drag. Just gonna help out with drag here. Okay, so we are, uh, there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of pressure in the game now, because we're fed. Um, 
Yeah, w whenever you're up against champs like this, like Tom Country, who can't push out the waves very quickly, it's good to do stuff like this where you just roam. Like, where you just roam and get pressure on the map because... And also, I wouldn't necessarily do this in low elo because, I mean, I could have lost a lot top lane. Like he could probably, he could have probably gotten two t two tower platings and yeah. But anyways, like I'm glad the Huey TP'd. But yeah, I mean, we only really missed one two wa uh, two waves, but we got a kill. It helped out with drag. I mean, we're 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 fine. We can do a trade here. Stompkinch isn't respecting it. Ah, good stun timing, but we can st still keep going. Waiting out his passive. We can go now. Should be fine. Risky. Am I dead? Am I dead? Am I dead? Oh my god. Ooh, okay. I'll take it. Had a pretty good buy here. We decided to go with Swifty Boots because they got a Tom Kench Q, which is very, very, very annoying because it's a very strong slow. And they also got Nami Alt, which is a big slow too. Swain slow if he gets Rylize. Like, they just have a lot of annoying slows. So I just I think Swifty Boots is going to be the play. And also, judging by like seeing how the game is going right now, the movement speed from Swifty Boots is going to be pretty beneficial uh, because like I said like we're pretty ahead we're roaming quite a bit we got W max I'm gonna try doing this in more of my game because I do like this I won't lie um, but yeah so we picked up team at and uh, Swifty Boots we're pretty close to Jarvan wants a gank here I'm down for this bro what I had in my fear not pushing the other way Rito Rito games I oh nice um, but yeah, okay, so we can get some plates here. We actually, we got six grubs. We could actually maybe get this tower. Oh my god, bro, really? We can actually get this tower, potentially. I haven't kept track if the Tom Kench TP'd. That, that's my fault. I don't know if he has TP or not, but we should be able to get this. Six grubs is melting this thing. We have enough for Stride Breaker. Mm, looks like we do get it like we do get it okay very good no Evelyn no no Tom Kench we're pretty ahead we have alt so we can just push out this wave I'm not too worried about this guy at all right now there you go nice so we can pick up stride breaker um do we pick uh, I don't know what we're gonna get after this what are we gonna get after stride breaker should we just start building it towards Bork because we already have recurve bow or should we start going into wits end because they have a lot of AP on the map but Bork is just going to be the play, I think. Because the reason why Wits End wouldn't be bad here at all is because it gives us tenacity, right? Which is nice. People always seem to forget that, that Wits End gives tenacity. And that is a valuable stat. Evelyn's Charm, Tom Kench's Stun, Nami Bubble, Swain Root. Like, like, the tenacity would be very beneficial here. And also, it gives us a ton of uh, MR. 50 MR is definitely no joke. Nice. I don't know if Zami has flash, but obviously she doesn't. Okay, good. Yeah, 50 MR is no joke. It also gives us some good damage. Like, it gives us some good damage. At this point in the game, it, it would be, you know, it, it's got good on hit. It's not good as a first item. They they heavily nerfed that a couple seasons ago, or where you can't rush with sending anymore because it's not a good item. Like, it doesn't do as much on, on hit damage. But around the mid game is whenever it starts doing like 50-ish, 60-ish on hit, which is nice. Like, that's definitely really, really good. Tom Kent is just di disrespecting and pushing far out. Obviously, this isn't warded if he's doing this. It should be a kill. I don't want to have to ult. Hey, okay, I'm going to have to, dude. Everyone's here. No way, bro. Okay. Oh, my God. Where'd the Evelyn go? Is that... Wait, I was confused. What happened? What blood trail was? I'm confused. Okay. I'm confused. Confusion. Uh, all right, well. I died. I, I didn't realize he had to call. Okay, so that's got to be a blood trail. Yep, that that's the real one. Nice. Good job, Huey, for acknowledging this. Very nice. 
I feel like I gotta start prefacing, like, in the beginning of the games. It's like, hey, guys, if I spam ping the eye, that's where somebody is with a blood trail. I wanna get this tower. I wanna get this tower. Oh, no, bro. Uh, you know I live? Ah! Damn, bro, that's my first death of the game. Uh, I overstayed hard. Overstayed hard, bro. We got a bit of a fight between the Huey and the Tom Kench down here. And okay, all right, well, it was a little more of more. It was more eventful than what you guys saw there. I just, yeah, Huey flashed, <laughs> and then it was fine after that. We farm top lane, and then uh, I mean, I, I just don't need to put that in the video. I just quickly farm top, and then just got Bork. Nothing else happened. But now that we got Bork and Stridebreaker, we deal the damage. It's hard for people to get away from us because if we're able to hit them with a Q, that means we can save Stridebreakers for whenever they actually have distance on us. This is just a free kill. Uh, we can actually use our Q to slow them, right? Because the Bork's first hit is a slow. And then if they get distance from us, we can use Stridebreaker, right? Or from in, in the same token is if I am far from them, and I can't get a Q, then I could use Stridebreaker to close the gap. As that slow so sort of fades, then my Q is in range, and then I'm able to get the, the slow on them. I get the movement speed because I hit them, I hit, did physical damage, and I got Stridebreaker. So the Stridebreaker gives me 20 move speed, like effectively on hit. Um, so, yeah. Oh, that's a kill. Nice. Oh, another kill. I'm gonna keep. Uh, well, I mean, they, they don't need me mid, so I don't have alt. Tom Kedge might live this. I don't have alt. But then again, oh no, it's GG here. Yep, 140 gold. Oh my goodness. Just keep pushing up this wave. Okay, nice. Wow. Oh my god, that's yep, unlucky there. Don't think we get anything after this maybe we can get a tower if way helps us attack this oh no they dip okay so we don't get anything else after this we don't don't risk it don't risk it back up back up i don't want to die because of you back up okay, nice lucky though the uh way wanted to come over here ah whatever TP. If I need to do anything, if only I had Stridebreaker there, actually, yeah, then we would have been able to kill him. Her. I'm thinking I'll go. We got options here. I could go for Terminus. I could go for Iceborne. I could go for Sterax. Those are the three. Or I, actually, I could go Hexplate. Yeah, I'm gonna go Hexplate because Hexplate's gonna make. Because we have no cooldown right now in our in our build. Zero. Only reason we have ten is because we have blue buff. We have zero cooldown reduction in our build. So our alt is a long cooldown. That's the only thing I'm really concerned about is our alt. Yeah, okay, our Q is six seconds and our E is still like whatever, like tw like, yeah. Hexplate's gonna be good because I want that alt to be a low cooldown. 30 haste for your alt is really good. So. Oh, okay, so yeah, she's over there. And also, I'm gonna have a ton of attack speed. Like, since I have Lethal Tempo, Stride Breaker, and Bork, um, with Hexplate on. I, don't, I think I'm fine. I don't think anything else happens here, yeah. Um, get a free kill on this, maybe. Okay. No. No. Back up. I don't got my ult anymore. I'm not down for this. We got Jarvan coming up. I got my E. I'm kind of waiting for my E more than anything. Yeah. Wait, yo, yo, yo. We got these little void grub things. I can keep going. 
Nope. There's a Lucian. Don't want to be dealing with that. There is a wild Lucian on the loose, but there's also a free red buff for the taking. Um, but yeah, yeah, so Hexplate. Since we got le lethal tempo, right? All this attack speed isn't wasted. Like, a lot of people waste stats on Warwick. Okay. Is it fine if, you know, you don't have W? Yeah, okay, it's fine to have all this attack speed. But, like, like I mean, like, W, like, like to press W to before a fight or whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, if you have all this attack speed <laughs> and you have level 5 W, your max attack speed, if you, when they're below 50% HP, if you don't have lethal tempo. I'm just doing it for you. Right here. I'm kind of talking and playing at the same time. It's uh, all over the map here. I'm just so fed right now. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, okay, anyway. Like, you have a lot of wasted stats because you're well capped. But uh, since I got Lethal Tempo, all this attack speed is really, really beneficial because I'm going beyond cap. But anyways, this seems to be the end of the game. Please just end it, guys. There's no reason. Like, why do this? I'll never understand why people do this. Just end the game. End the game. Sure, I'll get another kill. Cool. Sweet. Let's do it. Oh. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. Actually, let's see the damage charts. Let's see the damage charts. Uh, Huey probably did more than me. Although, I don't know. Emerald 2. Oh, my God. Oh, I did more. Okay, nice. All right. GG, well played.